to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a delicious dinner recipe. I am gonna show you how to make healthy firecracker salmon. It has a spicy marinade on top. It is so delicious and it pairs well with like taco salad on the side of roasted veggies and it's just seriously so good. We make this all the time. It's a family favorite and I am really excited to share it with you. So if you do want to follow along with the exact ingredient instructions, everything like that, you can find the blog post linked down below. And I know not all of you that follow me here enjoy salmon, so if this video isn't for you, that's totally fine. There are plenty of other plant-based options here on the channel, so I'll link some of those down below for you as well. And I also will say I do think that you could use this with tofu. So if you are new around here and you enjoy healthy, delicious recipes like this, I would love for you to subscribe. Just tap the red button that is right below this video. And let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make our marinade, and that includes some gluten-free tamari or soy sauce, if you aren't gluten-free, as well as some sriracha slash Asian hot sauce. You're gonna add in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of rice wine vinegar, as well as a touch of maple syrup for just a little bit of sweetness. From there, you'll also add in some ground ginger and some red pepper flakes. Whisk that together, and then you can just pour it directly over your salmon. From here, you can either let it marinate for about 30 minutes, or you can just pop it right in the oven. If you are popping it right in the oven, then while it's baking, let's make my favorite topping to go on it ever. It is mango salsa. So we're gonna take one mango, and we're just gonna cut that, basically just cut it around the pit and then you can take the kind of skin off using your knife and then you're basically just going to dice it into small pieces. Once you have your mango diced, we will also finally dice up a red onion as well as one jalapeno and that's just gonna give it a little bit of heat. This is a spicy dish. Once we're ready to make our salsa, you can just add the mango into a bowl, followed by the red onion, the cilantro, the jalapeno, some lime juice, and then I just do a sprinkle of salt and pepper, toss it all together, and that is our mango salsa. And trust me, the salsa is so delicious on top of the salmon. So once we pull the salmon out of the oven, you can just let it cool. I like to sprinkle it with a little bit of cilantro and scallions, and then I just cut it up or serve it up immediately. And like I said, it's so good with the mango salsa, the sweetness combined with the spiciness and the flakiness of the salmon, the coolness of the salsa combined with the hot salmon. It's just all around a perfect combo, and I know you guys are absolutely going to love it. So I hope you enjoy and this is honestly going to be your favorite way to make salmon going forward. And there you have it. That is how to make my firecracker salmon recipe. As you can see, so easy, really, really delicious. And as I said, it pairs well with pretty much everything that you would enjoy salmon with. Salad, tacos, on the side of veggies, etc. So simple and just really, really, really tasty. And I love the little kick at the end. And if you are plant-based, you don't enjoy salmon, and you're still here watching, like I said in the beginning, you can also do this with tofu, and you can either bake it or grill it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. You can just tap the red button that is right below this video. It's super simple. You just hit subscribe, and that will subscribe you. So I appreciate you being here. If you do wanna follow along with the full recipe, as I said, the blog post is linked down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.